Hey guys, uh, doing a little little update here on the quad tractor. Today we're gonna see if this motor is any good. The other day, I accidentally busted this off. It was actually already half cracked and I went to unscrew it and it just completely broke off. But in doing that, I noticed there was some water. You can't probably see it, but there's water inside that pipe, which tells me there's water inside this motor. So that actually prompted me to pull the spark plug and when I pulled the spark plug there was lots of brown dirt grease rust looking stuff so I'm really not sure how bad this motor is going to be uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be usable so today's mission is to figure out how bad it is and if we can fix it so obviously you can see that uh, the spark plug boot on the coil is is kind of dicked also I should note that in the air cleaner all right, after I bought this, I had to rectify a problematic situation. There were some pests that made themselves very much at home in here. So I think the first thing we'll do is actually yank off this blower housing, get that out of the way, and then we're gonna go after this exhaust pipe. Yeah, it looks like we got some stuff, debris. I'm half expecting a rat's nest in here somewhere. I don't know if you can see that, but she looks pretty grody. All right, we've been heating her up good there. I use map gas, by the way, in case any of you are wondering why the bottle is yellow. And while everything is still hot, we're gonna strike this, uh, this strange little spur bolt right here. It was actually way easier than I was expecting. Yep. Oh. Definitely some water just came out of that exhaust pipe. That is not a good sign. This is gonna be bad. I just know it. So I don't know if you guys can see in to that exhaust port but that is some nasty nasty stuff all right so here we go moment of truth ladies and gentlemen I have to admit I'm a little nervous here we're gonna find out together well the head's not that bad Take a look down in here. I know you can't see it. Is my engine supposed to have water there? Oh. Oh God. This is why you don't let your engine sit outside uncovered for long periods of time, people. And there's grit in there and everything. So something's going on internally. I can't even turn this thing over like you can see it kind of hitching up that's right there it's stopping for some reason and then sometimes it'll turn past sometimes it won't so fast forward a couple days you can see I've been busy at work here on the quad Raptor. the engine has been liberated from the chassis and you can see it's littered with mounting bolts and clutch assembly parts the clutch assembly is just kind of dangling my six belts for the drive system so this thing's kind of in shambles right now. Everything's sort of in disarray. The engine sitting over here, uh, you know, had to, had to come off because I think the engine is basically junk. I needed to get this drive pulley off of the engine. And to do that, they actually, I had to take it somewhere because I could not remove this thing for the life of me. And I'm usually pretty good at this stuff. But I took it to a shop and they ended up actually torching the sh uh, output shaft right off the engine. Just blammo. See you later, bye. And it didn't stop there. Um, we still had to take this thing, set it on an anvil, and the guys drove it with a steel spike and an eight pound sledge. You know, one guy giving it all he had. And it took quite a few strikes to actually get that thing free. So I'm glad they were finally able to do that. It's unfortunate that the output shaft got torched off there, but I knew this engine was kind of junk in the first place. So no big deal. The engine, as far as I'm concerned, is probably junk. Um, crankshaft aside, you know, it still probably is a rebuildable block. 
uh, generally speaking. But right now what we're gonna do is pull the oil plug and see what this oil looks like because last I knew this stuff looked like water. So let's get started. And as a reminder, for those of you wondering, this is a 1983 eight horsepower Briggs, 19 cubic inch. I was born in 1983. So this engine is as old as I am. Oh yeah, look at that. That is water, folks. Look at that stuff draining down there. Ugh, it has that smell of just old gas and nastiness. So while that nastiness is draining, I just want to talk to you guys about this thing a little bit more. I'm really psyched to see that a lot of you, I get a ton of views in the video introducing this thing, and I find that a lot of people are really interested in this rig. They didn't know it even existed. Some people knew a guy that had one, or maybe had one themselves, but these things are pretty rare. Unfortunately, I spoke to a guy that used to build these things uh, for the original Traction Manufacturing, or Traction Incorporated, before Raven Manufacturing got a hold of them. And uh, he said, I've definitely got a Raven. Uh, he also mentioned that the serial number, uh, as produced by Raven, didn't go by the same uh, number designation that Traction. So he can't guarantee that this is actually number one. He says it's not out of the question, but it's probably not likely. And I would probably never find out because Raven changed their number system a few times over the years of them manufacturing, or probably over the year of them manufacturing. I did go through and greased absolutely every grease fitting on this entire machine. So I put about two and a half tubes of grease into this thing. Uh, the other thing I started to notice is, as you can see this drive pulley, right there you can see she's got some holes. And this is a pretty specific pulley. Luckily the guy I talked to, he has about 15 of these things in his backyard. He also has new old stock parts. He's got pulleys for this thing. So I'll be getting a couple of those off of him. In fact, I'll probably be getting four of them off of him. And he also carries these idler pulleys. So I might get a few of those. You can get these off the shelf, but he's willing to sell them a little cheaper than I can get them off the shelf for. So hopefully he hooks me up and we can get this thing running soon. I'm pretty sure I can get at least one ride on it with these pulleys the way they are. And then I'll probably have to change out the pulleys and the belts. But uh, I'm pretty psyched. I'm probably going to have to repower this thing with a different motor than the original, obviously, as the original is kind of junked. But I already got a couple motors. I'll show them to you guys in a second. And we're going to take two motors and build one. It's not going to be original, obviously, but the motors are a little more powerful than the original, so that's pretty cool. Other than that, you know, it's just going to take a little time. We'll get this sucker running soon, hopefully. That is utterly horrendous. But you can see what oil there is. Whatever's dripping out of there now is definitely a different color. So, break that gasket. There she goes. I'm probably going to get some residual oil dripping out of this thing. So initial impressions, not too, too bad. I'm pretty sure this bearing should have come out with the case have, correct me if I'm wrong. But if you look deep inside there, that crank is really rusty, which tells me this thing had a lot of water in it at one time. All right, so I got that bearing kind of pulled off the crank a little bit. She's still a little stuck, probably because of the residue from the cutting. So I'm gonna try to pull this cam out of here. A little pry bar action here. I would not recommend doing this on a motor you care about. We'll just go jam and screwdrivers willy-nilly into the engine crankcase. There we go. Couple lifters. So we got the two lifters and the cam. No real scoring on it. It's too bad. This engine looks like it was in really good shape, you know. There's a little bit of rusty spots in some of the journals, but you know, obviously the gear's got a little bit of rust in it. Yeah, I was expecting to find a lot of uh, metal chunks and hand grenaded parts in here, but it looks like the only thing that was really holding it from uh, cycling was the shit in the bore itself and the piston. Valves don't want to function either. So that was rather anticlimactic. I apologize for that. I was hoping for some destruction in there. Oh well, I did promise you that I would show you what motor is going on this thing, so let's go have a look at that. So right here, we have not one, but two 
GX390 13 horsepower genuine Honda engines. These are both used. One is in significantly better shape, being this one here before you, than this one, which is in a lot worse shape. Now there is some problems with these motors. This one is, it actually needs the exhaust ports. Probably can't see because of the light, but these exhaust holes, the bolt holes, are stripped out a little bit. So I'm going to have to re-drill and re-tap those. No big deal. It also lacks a carburetor. It does have electric start, which means it's also got a charging system. And there's your electric starter. This motor is the same idea, GX390, um, electric start. The electric starter is Gonzo. It's been harvested and gone on to bigger and better things. Um, this one does have a carburetor. The carburetor looks horrific. So I might try to dip this sucker and see if I can get it to work or I might just buy another one. I mean, it's missing parts. I'll probably just buy another one by the looks of it. Uh, this one does have an exhaust. So I could potentially use that. Chances are I'll probably just harvest the flange off of the stock muffler and build my own exhaust. But I will say this, after testing, test fitting one of these motors, this one here, it's not going to be a direct swap. There is going to have to be some work to be done to this motor. But I don't want to bore you with the details. We'll get into all that stuff in the next update video for the Quad Ractor. And for those of you that are sticking around, you want to see the, uh, the mini mud mower suspension build that I've got going on. Um, I will be working on that next. Uh, I got some parts for that. That's what I've been waiting for so I can actually make some progress on that guy. Um, but we're going to get moving on that one in the next couple of videos. So hopefully in the near future, we'll get this thing repowered and driving because it's really not that far off. Everything's there. It just needs the motor as far as I know. Um, and very least we get a couple laps out of it. And that's all I want before winter and all the snow flies. But thanks for watching my update video, you guys. Sorry it's a little anticlimactic, but hey, we found out that the motor's junk. We got some new motors. We're making progress. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you in the next update video.